Hello friends, uh, welcome to my channel. So this is our career guidance part 2 video. If any one of you watching this video on my channel for the first time, I just quickly give the context. Uh, so recently I rolled out on Google form. So if you have any career related questions or concerns, you can mention it there. So I will make one special video for that. Uh, so in last video, I have covered uh, some of your queries. So still we have some more folks. So in this video, I'm going to cover those queries only. Uh, so still if you any of any new people watching this video if you also have the concerns or any questions you can also uh, add your questions in the google form so in this video description i will add that uh, form you can fill it later uh, so let's start the video so today our uh, first person is uh, sundar so what is question is uh, what are the different fields that we can serve as a business analyst uh, uh, like uh, how he is asking is like we have a finance sector health sector right so he's asking which sector is uh, good and we can gain more knowledge uh, what are the best companies that offer business and this job role also is asking me to post one special video for uh, difference between consulting management and business analyst shows on the uh, i will post on separate video for that in the upcoming days so now i'm addressing to your question so you are asking best domain uh, for a business analyst. So before you are choosing any domain, first you have to consider your degree. If you are having a BSc, Max, Computer Science, or uh, BTech, anything, you can choose a IT and a IT related service and consulting firm. So that would be very very useful for you. If you have finance or healthcare, like uh, you have to have a separate degree for that because especially if you are a business analyst, at least they would expect some basic fundamental domain knowledge so that is why i'm telling if you have finance background then choose that field if you're having a uh, whatever things i mentioned then choose the it sector okay also if you are choosing any consulting firm like uh, compared to uh, domain wise if you are choosing particular domain you will get only particular domain clients if you are choosing consulting firm uh, you will get uh, clients from different different domains so that is why people are doing uh, going abroad for uh, business studies or else uh, joining uh, our top any business school so that is why so if you are choosing consulting firm you have to research lot you have to study lot so uh, you also do some research for that also if you are asking me particular companies for the business analyst uh, I can recommend Tech uh, Mahindra, Delight, Accenture so these are the service based companies are uh, providing a good package and a good job role for business analyst so you can choose those, those companies but the thing is if you are choosing those companies they would expect at least some number of experience from you okay for that experience obviously we have to choose any startups or any uh, companies who is providing the intern opportunities so you have to choose that okay so first gain the experience after that uh, choose what are the companies i said so I hope uh, my answer will be a uh, benefit for you. So our next person is uh, Ritani Natarajan. So he's totally asking five questions. So his first question is, uh, do companies consider my resume for business analyst role because my experience is on uh, application support. So if you are applying for fresher job or a, uh, internship job, definitely your re resume will be considered. But if you are applying for experience role, then company side also will expect some number of experience. Uh, so what you can do is whatever projects or uh, certifications you are completing just update in it in your resume also if you are having an application support role just cross check you are having a client facing experience or not if you have that that also will be additional benefit for you uh, so also you are asking please recommend some courses for business and analyst role see I already uh, suggested few courses again I will add those courses uh, in this video description Please watch that. Also, I have suggested on YouTube video also. Six hours course is there. First, complete that. After that, go to the certification course. After that, uh, there's obtaining ECB. Like uh, entry certifications, uh, business analyst certifications will be helpful for my career transition. Yes, definitely that certification will be helpful. Uh, that is, uh, again, it will give additional weightage in your resume. But before enrolling any courses, before paying any money, uh, just uh, inform me, just share the link with me. I will cross check for you uh, because don't uh, pay anything upfront immediately. Okay, just do some research whether is it a benefit for you or not. Also, you're asking, I have seen many business analyst openings 
are domain specific banking finance etc but i don't have any domain knowledge uh, will it be a uh, drawback see first you do the courses and videos uh, you will get some knowledge again if you are having a finance degree like a bcom or uh, any banking related then uh, you are you at least have some domain knowledge if you don't uh, ha have those degrees you have a bs in maths again a b in electrical or whatever it doesn't matter then you have at least have the what is happening in it sector what is uh, uh, like a software development life cycle process models what are they doing what is agile methodology what is waterfall methodology so once you do uh, what are the courses i suggested once you complete that at least you have some domain knowledge also for a business analyst uh, mostly they would consider common skills like uh, first one is communication second one is uh, problem solving uh, third one is analytical skills so these are the common skills they would expect from you uh, and then focus on the domain knowledge for domain knowledge uh, just complete the courses uh, you will get the know what is happening in the IT sector so that's enough after that also let me know how can I improve my documentation skills uh, so as a business analyst documentation skill is very very important like uh, BRD, FRD, user personas like uh, test cases lot of documents you are going to work right so if you want to improve documentation skill what I would recommend you is uh, just follow the format for BRD we have some format for FRD we have some topics totally 10 to 12 topics is there you are going to write whatever things under that only so you can do is like uh, go to chat gpt and ask it to uh, write brd for instagram okay it will give the overview uh, what is the scope of work what is a uh, uh, risk and mitigation what is out of scope so lot of things like total 10 to 12 topics whatever i'm mentioning it will give it by chat gpt itself so and then you do for facebook whatsapp whatever applications you are very familiar with that so take that application as an example and uh, give it to chat gpt can you write document like this so it will give it to you so you just read everything uh, thoroughly so don't worry about technical words so if you are writing documents in your own words that is more than enough rest of the things chat gpt or some ai tools will take care because uh, many of the business analysts are surviving their field like that only so don't worry about documentation skills just uh, uh, write down the format just uh, remember the format at any time so I hope uh, my answer uh, would be benefit for you. So our next person is uh, um, Bono Prabha. So what he is asking is, uh, I am a senior operation analyst in US healthcare. Uh, past one year, I'm trying to switch to business analyst in the same domain. Even though I say the truth, uh, I was in operation, but uh, upskill my self-learning on uh, YouTube also did course in institute uh, on power bi and sql but no use what else to do get the job could you please uh, help me to figure it out uh, where i'm lacking lacking from my side so bhavna prabha what i can tell you is uh, like uh, see i i already told you about my story uh, like uh, i have gave multiple interviews from each interview i gained some knowledge uh, even i didn't join any course uh, same, I also having the same problem. I was having fully operations role. Uh, so company said they would expect uh, uh, people who have uh, handling uh, projects, uh, international projects or else uh, IT related domain knowledge. So I was also facing the same problem, same for one year. So what you can do is again, uh, whatever things you mentioned, Power BI, SQL. So that is more than enough, but I don't know why, why you are not still getting the job. But I can tell you one thing uh just go to google and search it uh, business analyst course with placement support if you are in any city chennai hyderabad pune it doesn't matter if you are searching in google at least you will get a uh, 10 to 20 uh, institute on nearby you so go to that institute and talk to them uh, and check there what is the fees for that what is the course duration how many placements they have done for that uh, business analyst role so once you reach them you will get some idea and if you are feeling okay with that institute, just join. Why I'm asking, that is my last choice, okay? Because you are not getting any placement support, even though your resume is not getting shortlisted for any companies. That is why I'm recommending this. So it's up, it's, uh, research work is done by you only. Go to that institute and talk to them. You will get some better clarity. Also, please uh, don't uh, lose your consistency. 
just apply for the job keep applying uh, in the uh, whatever openings you see for business analyst one day you will get the job at the meantime do whatever things i suggested also okay and then our next person is uh, gokul so uh, what he is telling is uh, he's completed bsc max in 2020 uh, till 2024 he tried to get a government exam but unfortunately he couldn't get that after that uh, now he is telling uh, he want to uh, come into it sector uh, he is asking some free courses for business analyst and data analysis basically he is asking which is better for for him so uh, gokul what i would recommend you is uh, you have a mathematics background if you are good in max then you can go to data analysis field because uh, in data analysis you are going to learn sql python lot of uh, max is major for that role basically that is what i am trying to tell you so if you can go to that role if you want to come into business if your communication is good if you are okay to handle multiple clients uh, people handling uh, then choose a business analyst role uh, also you are asking about courses right in google itself uh, they, are, they are providing free courses for data an analyst so i just add that link in this video description please enroll that so you will get the more idea about also uh, there is a uh, in youtube channel there is more videos for uh, especially C sql python related data analysis they will the complete road map so watch those videos also i personally recommend two channels chandu and code basics just follow that uh, channel that is uh, fully for data analysis role only also for very ba i already uh, added the uh, link in the description please check that so yeah i hope uh, whatever uh, questions i addressed as per my knowledge i have done that so i hope uh, those thing would be a uh, benefit for everyone still if you are having any further more questions in the upcoming days or else that i have i missed in this video please uh, add it in the comment or in the google form i will try to address it thank you guys uh, see you uh, in the next video thank you bye